Sounds like you're expecting me. Johnny, I knew you'd show up eventually. And I guess you know exactly why I'm here. The fatal collision is alleged to have been caused when Corinthos shot out the rear tires of another reputed crime figure, Anthony Zakara. Mr. Corinthos is free on bail, and Mr. Zakara's whereabouts are unknown. I know you're in there, Johnny. I heard the TV. Open the door. I want to know if my so-called husband is alive. Venus, my darling. Very sweet of you to be so worried about me. You know, this isn't going to work, Johnny. You're going to have to be a little more specific. You planning more evidence against Sonny? Why would I do that? Because, Johnny, you shot out the tires of Anthony's car. You killed a man and his young daughter. And you planted a gun here to frame Sonny. I wouldn't frame Sonny. I didn't do that. I'm here because of what happened the other night. Yes, the night that Sonny got arrested for trying to kill Anthony. Yeah, the same night that you came to my place and came on to me. What? Things aren't exactly safe at the moment. You can't stay too long. No problem. I got what I came for. Ah, uh, you came to see with your own two eyes that I'm okay. No, actually, I came to hear with my own two ears that you're dead. Because I was hoping that this exercise in blackmail that we call marriage was over. You don't mean that. My instincts tell me you care about me. <laughs> your instincts are so mistaken. Well, my instincts told me that Sonny would follow me that night, and he did. Shot my tires out. Wanted me to die in a car crash. I ended up running those poor kids off the road. Oh, and you're filled with regret and remorse over two total strangers. Boy, that girl was frantic. I could have left, but she begged me to let her use my cell phone to call 911. How selfless of you. Oh, well, what? Maybe I should have stayed? Tried to help her get the others out of the car? <laughs> if I had, I'd be dead right now. Like I will be if Sonny finds me and decides to finish the job. Corinthos caused that accident. I was driving to the airport. Why did he come after you? Because you tried to kill his son and accidentally shot Sonny instead. I told you I wasn't the shooter in the garage. I thought you believed me. Yeah, I believed you when you said you were leaving town. I tried. You didn't try hard enough. And this insanity between you and Sonny caused two innocent bystanders to die. One of them was a toddler. How could you possibly blame me? I didn't fire the gun either time i want it to stop when are you leaving well i can do it under the radar without drawing sonny's attention okay well i think we need to speed up the process a little bit what are you doing i am going to call sonny and point to the rock you're hiding under come on star don't do this to yourself he's not worth it Neither is your father. Come on. You okay? Yeah, fine. Look, Star's grieving. She needs someone to blame. Her father went after the wrong man. Hey, I just spoke to Star's mother. The father, Todd Manning. He's pretty dangerous. Yeah, I got that, Carly. And all he seems to care about is his kids. Okay. Well, I can empathize with that part, but... Put yourself in his shoes. What would you do to the man who killed your grandchild? I understand I have an enemy. Wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> Please, John, just let me talk to her. Yeah, you know, I think you've done enough. Keep an eye on him. I got here when you did. I wish you would have done more. I'm sorry. Cole. He loved you very much. Thank you for everything that you did for him. For us. I was able to get in contact with his parents. You told them what happened? I told them it was an accident. Except that it wasn't. Sonny Corinthos was trying to kill someone start. and we just on, got in the way. Please. You gotta stop talking like this, okay? Stop. Well, it's how I feel. 
and Toddy decided to avenge oh. Hope and Cole. You know what? He could have gotten us up, killed him. Did, does he know that that is a known mobster? Did you know that? Yeah, I know so many complicities. Okay, you know what? Get out of my office right now before I call security or Sonny. I thought you weren't going to call Sonny until he could find us in a little more of a, you know, compromising position. What are you talking about? I, I barely know you. Didn't stop you the other night when you came to my apartment and kissed me. I, I wouldn't go near your apartment, Johnny. So if this is some sick, twisted game that you're playing with me, you got the wrong woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have the wrong woman. Yeah, you do. Maybe the woman I should be talking to is Connie. Huh? Connie? You know, flashy, fiery little bit. All right, that's it. In her trash. Oh Not that there's Calling anything security. wrong with that, Connie. Johnny, no. Connie. Stop it! Exactly. Get out of here! You're hurting me, Johnny! Ah! Connie wants to be alive instead of dead for Sonny Corinthos. Doesn't she? Damn straight. Know what happens if you call Sonny? <laughs> yeah, I get to play the Merry Widow. You get charged as an accomplice to my murder. Who says it's going to get reported? Sonny has a lot of experience in disappearing people. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Go right ahead. Make the call. All my affairs are in order. I'm sure the SEC will be grateful for all the info I left them about you and your shady financial dealings. You end up in a cell either way. That's what I thought. I was just trying to protect myself from getting caught in the crossfire. And I'm just trying to stay alive. Who says you have the right to? I have no use for Sonny Corinthos. But at the very least, he was protecting his family. What's your excuse? I'm innocent this time. Hey, if I'm gonna get whacked after all these years, I would prefer it to be for something I actually did. You seem smarter than this. Not a good idea to go up against Sonny. He destroyed my daughter's entire life. If he did, he will be tried and convicted. I'm the only one that'll get star justice. Well, you don't appear to be in the position for that. <sighs> Carly. You're lovely. And I do appreciate you sneaking him to the hospital and all that. And you run a first-rate hotel, and if I'm ever not a fugitive, it's the first place I'd stay. But your ex killed my granddaughter and my granddaughter's father, and for that he deserves to die. You and Sonny are very much alike, and by which I mean he's dangerous, and he's really hard to kill. Have you been talking to Blair? You've been talking to Blair. Then you know, because I'm sure Blair told you, that I will make Sonny pay for what he's done. For what? Well, for stopping your father. You're the only reason you didn't pull the trigger. I wasn't trying to save your father. I was trying to save mine. Look, I'm just glad they're both alive. Do you ever feel guilty? For loving someone so horrible, do you ever feel like the things that they do are your fault? It's not really that way with my father. But from what I could see, you're the one good thing about your dad. All right, sweetheart. 
John is making arrangements to get your dad back to Landview, and we need to get you, come on, to the hospital. What? I'm not going back Sweetheart, to the hospital. you've gone through a horrible ordeal. You shouldn't even be out of bed. Uh, Star had a right to tell the courts what she saw that night. I had to tell them what Anthony Sakara said, that, that Sonny Corinto shot out uh, his tires. Okay, and you're going to get a chance to tell that full testimony at the trial, okay? Yes, I'm going to go up and uh, bring the car around. I'm not going to get into it. Just bring the car around. Now, you didn't think I was just going to let you walk out of here, did you? It's been a long time, McBang. Yeah, it has.